Hi, this is Mark Goring with the CDS Consulting Co-op. At the Strategic Co-op seminars, we have three main goals. Advancing our thinking, building shared understanding, and creating alignment at our co-ops and among co-ops. The theme for 2013 is growing our co-ops, and we use a couple of powerful questions during the day to focus the conversation. The first question is, why does growth matter and what does it look like when we're successful? The second question is, how as leaders can we get our communities engaged, aligned, and participating in growing our co-ops? After more than an hour of small group conversation, we ask each small group to distill the conversations they've been having down to just a few words. Then a person from each group shares their work. Here's a sampling. Enjoy. Growth in individual stores in order to build a strong foundation. Secondly, if you stop evolving, you die. And then the third one, a ripple effect. Grow cooperative business ideal to inspire broader understanding. A flexible definition of success. It depends on the co-op what the definition of success and growth means. A voice, the co-op having a voice in their community and the community also having a voice at the co-op. Health um, on an individual and community level and also on a physical level and on a mental level. Community common ground, grow the model, Change legal framework. One, two, three. Thank you. Diversity within the co-op and among the community. Step out of the comfort zone. Take risks. And education geared to specific needs. We also come in with internal and external diversity. And then also relevance allows impact and engagement with community. Community engagement allows us to be the change. Living cooperative principles creates a better society. And then we stole one from JFK. A rising tide lifts all boats. Um, grow or die, and if you're not there, you can't care. Co-ops for all. Growth can have different models. Success equals accessibility, and success creates a ripple effect. Intentional growth versus reactionary. A community educated about co-ops. Racially, economically, and structurally inclusive. Do more good community engagement. Everyone is a co-op ambassador. Um, we have two circular relationships. One of them is change the world, change our community. The second one is profitability, sustainability. And the third one is feed the world through cooperative effort. Make positive impact. We'd like to be inclusive, diverse community, and we meet more needs better and faster. Growth equals giving back, sustainable communities grow and prosper, and understanding what people need. Bigger organization equals a larger impact, uh, greater diversity among staff and shoppers, and better opportunity to improve access. Growth matters because it transforms and empowers communities. And we said that if we are successful, there will be more jobs that are humanizing and satisfying and that we will transform education into inspiration. Uh, participation and engagement with the community. Develop your market. If you don't do it, someone else will. Yeah. And if you are successful, there are more healthy, happy people. Yay. We must discern how to communicate the benefit to all. We must talk about shared, diverse, and accountable leadership. We must talk about race, racism, all structural and systematic oppression. Cooperative third space. Second is community capital. And third is cooperation among co-ops equals stability and diversity. Uh, community engagement, which means educating the community, but also learning from community, as well as economic development with community. Um, accessibility, number two, um, and that we define as um, creating more of a racially diverse, uh, economically diverse, physically diverse, and also age-related um, diversity within our spaces. And lastly, um, employee wellness and retention. Got to keep them happy. Right. Thank you. Be a servant leader for your community. Create alliances and networks. Active listening with discernment. <laughs> the, the, the good one is... Uh, Participate and link with existing groups. Co-ops are cool. You can be cool, too. Uh, community networking, representing the co-op, and make it fun. We have go where the people already are, network with no agenda, 
and celebrate with parties. Seek out community events, listening as an element of community alignment, and be creative. Small choices, big impact, dream big, have fun, walk more, talk less. For engagement, we have assess and address community needs. For alignment, merge our stories and participating plan of fun events. Use multiple approaches, both push and pull, uh, or give and receive. Uh, getting engaged with other existing groups and give, give, give. Plant as many seeds of engagement as possible. Alignment equals trust. And throw parties. With relationship building, inclusion, transparency, communication, and find community champions. Know how your community wants to participate except that some people can't or won't or don't participate in yearly board check-ins on alignment. Take surveys, ask for questions, ask for feedback. Um, community events, whether it's partnering with other organizations or being the leader that's actually throwing the party. And for participating, having listening sessions. Uh, develop and maintain accountable relationships. Demonstrating interest by listening to what the community wants and needs, building trust, esteeming and emphasizing the self-interest of others, and communicating clearly, openly, and honestly. Uh, responding to community, uh, community servant leadership, that's one. Uh, tell a story of successes and keep doors of communication open. Develop shared language. It's visual, you probably can't see that, but it's involve, and at the intersection of the V, it's evolve, so you involve to evolve. And the second is the health of the community is the wealth of the co-op. Fluid policies, multiple approaches, and keep trying. And then third, leaders as listeners. 